and welcome to another edition of Weathering the Storms of Life with the Rangers. Rob Rain, Sally Tippett Rains here at stlsportspage.com, also rainbowsforkids.org. As we start another week of uh, the stay-at-home orders, the last week of April, uh, almost May 1st coming up, but uh, hopefully the, the sun's out, is getting a little warmer. Hopefully we'll still be having baseball here at some point, but meanwhile we're continuing on with our quizzes. And with our words of wisdom, words of inspiration that uh, have, I think, been a, a really big part of these quizzes since we started them several weeks ago. My words of wisdom today are pay attention. Pay attention when somebody says something, the smallest thing can be important to somebody. Uh, if, if, you know, we're all tired, we're all exhausted and everything else. And so a lot of the time during this period, we're thinking about ourselves and we're thinking about how bad we have it. We're missing our family, missing our friends, whatever the situation, job situation, whatever. But it's a good time right now, I think, to pay attention to others and how they feel and um, how you can improve their life just by doing, just by showing you care. Well, great advice, a great, a great advice in any situation, but I think right now, particularly important. So thanks for that. So our questions today are gonna to be about Tony La Russa. We're kind of continuing our uh, tour through the Cardinals Hall of Famers, the uh, players who played or managed the Cardinals who've gone on to be elected to Baseball's Hall of Fame. You wrote a book about Tony La Russa. I did, yeah. Tony La Russa, a, a man on a mission. It is kind of funny how some of these, uh, most of the people that we've uh, you know highlighted so far, I do have connections with You've as far pretty as much written care. a book about almost every famous person. I think the only one I actually Cardinals. did not write a book with or about was Stan Musial because a lot of other ones were already written. And of course, I you know, did never got a chance to see him play. One of my biggest regrets is that I, he retired, you know, the year before I saw my first game in person as a, as a young boy. So, But, but as uh, you but said yesterday, he did a lot of... Sure, I did a lot of appearances lot of uh, for the other the Cardinal 100th anniversary book he was very heavily involved with. He did the forward to Cardinal Nation uh, book that the Sporting News put out a few years ago and, and did some signings for me. So, yeah, obviously very, very involved with book projects, just not to... Not a, wow, that was one of the biggest... Book signing lines at yeah. the West County was it West County? That was the Library Limited. That was the Library Limited, I think, wasn't it? I think there was two different ones. Then, okay, I remember right. one yeah. at West County that was really long mm -hmm. too. But yeah, Library Limited, he was at. You're right. But yeah, I did do, get a chance to do the book with Tony a few years ago, and it was kind of funny because he originally uh, told me that he did not want me to do the book. If you remember, he said I that remember. he <laughs> said that, uh, and, and I purposely kind of you know told him I said I wanted it to be an unauthorized particularly be an unauthorized biography because of the fact that you know authorized biographies or, or an autobiography really you only get one side of the of the story you only get one side of a person's story and the thing with Tony was that he'd managed for so long and I knew he had people that you know for whatever reason disagreed with him on different things had different philosophies different styles of managing so I wanted to be able to present those people's opinions as well in the book you didn't want to write anything you didn't start out with a bad well, agenda it be about it. no and i was just wanted to be the, the reporter I, yes. I just wanted to tell the story you know from both perspectives obviously I have his side of it as well and what was interesting about the book and we're gonna to get to the questions here in a second but what was, what was interesting about the book if you're not familiar with it is that um i actually wrote tony a letter and, and told him why i wanted to to do the book and who the people were some of the key people that i wanted to talk to because he'd asked me to do that after telling me that he didn't want me to do the book. He said, well, tell me you know, what you want from me. And so I did that in a letter and, and, you know, he never said anything. He never responded to the letter, but there were a couple of people that in particular that I know well, I would not gotten granted access to for interviews had he not told those people that it was okay. One was his sister down in Florida. Who's met we had a Florida. great dinner with his yeah. sister. She was awesome. And then the second one was Jerry Reinsdorf, the owner of the White Sox. So I do know that had Tony not okayed those interviews, that it would not, uh, you know, he, it would uh, not have happened. So, and then at the end of the thing, when I got it all, at one point, you know, later on in the summer, he, he actually called me on the phone and asked me how it was coming along. And I told him where I was and, and said, you know, so I sent the material to him and then also sent him the rest of the book when it was done. And, and he called me uh, that fall and, and, uh, said he had a couple things that he wanted to go over with me and we did that and, and made one minor very minor change and the book was it and then he told me afterwards he said he did a hell of a job so mm -hmm. I, I consider that I think it was even even used as a fundraiser for art he so. did yeah so <laughs> so it turned out turned out well with after he originally didn't didn't want to do it so I, and I'm happy with the book too I think it was well done so anyway <laughs> on to the questions now about Tony La Russa, former manager of the Cardinals question one which team did Tony La Russa manage for more seasons the Cardinals or the Oakland A's obviously came to St. Louis from after many years in Oakland. So which team did he actually manage for more years? Question two, I'm going to do that one as well because I kind of messed it up when writing here, so I don't want to be hard on you. Tony is one of 11 managers who spent 25 or more years in the major leagues. Nine of those 11 are in the Hall of Fame. Can you name one of the two managers with 25 years or more of experience in the major leagues who is not in the Hall of Fame? 
Two managers with 25 years or more experience in the major leagues who are not in the Hall of Fame. would like you to name one of them. Bonus point if you can name both of them. Question three. Tony is one of two managers to win a World Series in each league with Oakland in 1989 and in 2006 and 2011 with the Cardinals, who's the only other manager to accomplish that feat. Okay. Question four. In addition to playing in the majors, Tony spent 13 seasons playing in the minor leagues. He ended his career in 1977. What organization was Tony with when he ended his playing career in 1977 in AAA? Okay. Number five. One of Tony's teammates in Pony League Baseball and in American League Baseball when he was growing up in Tampa, Florida. He also went to become a successful MLB manager. Who was that? He knew him as a kid in Pony League Baseball, and then he also knew American him. American Legion, yeah, because they, they actually went to different high schools. They oh, were, American could, Legion. Not yeah, they, they were contemporaries, but they did not play the same high school team, but they did play on the same American Legion summer team together. So, all right. Question six. For what team is Larusa currently working as a senior advisor in baseball operations? Which team is Tony now working for at the moment? Okay. Question seven. Is Tony's uniform number retired by the Oakland A's? Is his number retired by the Oakland A's? Yeah. Either a yes or no question. Pretty, pretty simple there. Question eight. When Tony became the Cardinals manager with the most career wins, whose record did he break? Whose record did Tony break for the most career wins as manager of the Cardinals? Question nine, Tony and Red are two of the four managers who led the Cardinals for more than a thousand games. Name the other two. Who are the other two that had more than a thousand games with the Cardinals of mm -hmm. managers? Actually four total, Tony's one of four, so I'm working for the other ones. Question 10, for the 132 games that Tony played in his career in the major leagues, was his career batting average above or below 200? The famous Mendoza line, was it above or below 200 when he played there's 130 games, 132 games that he played in his career in the major leagues. Okay. I just remembered a really funny Tony Arusa story. Which one? Which one? So Rob is very shy. You might not know it. He knows a lot about sports, so he's talkative about sports, but he's pretty humble and he's not going to go out of his way to, uh, whatever, bring attention to himself or whatever. So I wanted, when this book, when the Tony Larusa book was coming out, I wanted to get a picture of Rob with Tony, and he's like, no, I'm not going to do that. And he's a reporter. He's not going to do that. So. I said, uh, we're just standing there, and I spotted Tony, and I said, come with me. And he didn't really know where I was going, and I started charging through the kitchen at the hotel during the baseball writer's dinner. Mm -hmm. And we ran through the kitchen because I had seen Tony go in there. He was trying to sneak out, and we ended up caught him and got a picture with and him. And that so. picture looks like you caught him in the kitchen. I think, yeah, it's a funny. It is a <laughs> funny, funny. It is a funny. But, we have, nice but you do have a picture of me and yeah. Tony together. Yes, you do. So. All right, good. So we'll go on to the answers now. Question one, did Tony manage the Cardinals or the Oakland A's for more years? It was the Cardinals. Actually, a bigger gap than people remember. Probably 16 years that he managed the Cardinals, and he was only in Oakland for 10 years. So 26 years of his managerial career total between the Cardinals and the and the Oakland A's after his first career managing job with the White Sox. Go ahead. Uh, one of the two managers who are not in the Baseball Hall of Fame with 25 or years managing experience, one of them will be there as soon as he is eligible, and that's Bruce Bochy, who just retired as the manager of the Giants after last season. The other is Gene Mock, who I think probably deserves to be in the Baseball Hall of Fame, but he's remembered for some teams that didn't quite uh, go all the way to, to win the World Series, but a long career and a very productive career, so maybe someday they'll get uh, Gene Mock in the Hall of Fame as well. Question three. Two managers won the World Series in each league. Uh, Tony won it in Oakland in 1989 and with the Cardinals in 2006 and 11. Who was the other person that was Sparky Anderson, and he won it with the Reds and the Tigers? Mm -hmm. well, Do you have any mentors. memories of our Sparky? Not really. I mean, he was mostly in Detroit. By the time I started covering, he was mostly with the Reds before I uh, you know, broke into covering baseball. So by the time he uh, moved on to Detroit, I was pretty much you know, just covering the National League, so I didn't really have... You know, too much interaction with him. Had a lot of man great interaction with Jim Leland, the way he managed the Tigers, and, and other close to Tony Contemporary, but not to, not too much with Sparky. Okay. So, question four. In addition to playing in the majors, Tony played 13 seasons in the minor leagues. He retired in 1977. He, of course, was playing with the Cardinals at that time for the AAA team in New Orleans. And George Kissel, legendary uh, guru with the Cardinals minor leagues, was the guy who sat him down and said, I think you, know, you need to figure out uh, you know something else to do in your career. Have you thought about managing? And that's uh, kind of launched his managerial career. George Kissel was responsible for that. Because he also had gone to law school and was uh, thinking about becoming a lawyer. 
One of Tony's teammates in Ponyball and Legion Ball in Florida. That was Lou Pinella. For what team did Larissa, is Larissa currently working as a senior director of baseball operations, senior advisor of baseball operations, and that would be the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Just started that job at the end of last season. Obviously, it worked for the Diamondbacks and worked for the Red Sox uh, since leaving the Cardinals after working for the commissioner's office as well, but uh, still very active now in his new role with the Angels. Question seven, is Tony's uniform number retired by the Oakland A's? The answer is no. That one kind of surprised me a little bit, having won uh, one World Series and gotten to two other World Series with, with Oakland, but uh, they have not retired anybody other than players, you know, several players, you know, Catfish Hunter, Reggie Jackson, a few others like that, but uh, no retirement, jersey retirement number for Do you Tony know what Rudy. number he was? Ten, same number oh. he wore here. Yep. Good question. Eight, Tony became the Cardinals manager with the most career wins. He broke Red Shandy's record. A fitting a long time, he said he wasn't going to pass him. He was just going to get to that same number of wins and tie him and retire. Mm -hmm. But he, uh, he didn't. He went on to, to manage several more years. So. Question nine. Tony and Red are two of the four managers who led the Cardinals for more than 1,000 games. Who were the other two, Whitey Herzog and Mike Matheny? Yeah, Mike just barely made it. I was surprised he was <laughs> in the list. He just barely made it because I did a big story on right when he was approaching that 1,000th game. And, of course, he managed for about another month or, or so after that, but six weeks after that before they, they made the managerial change and, uh, and brought in Mike Schultz. So. And question 10, uh, for the 132 games that Tony played in the major leagues, he will tell you he was not a very good player. His career batting average, 199. So he barely fell below the 200 mark uh, at, in his playing career, mostly with Oakland, but uh, uh, started out in Kansas City as a bonus baby when he was signed out of high school by the A's, then went with them when they moved to Oakland and finished up his career with the Cubs. So. I know you enjoyed covering La Russa and those teams yeah, in it was, there. Cause... it was interesting. I mean, it was, he was, you know, you would disagree with him a lot, but he always had an answer for you. I mean, he was never he never shied away from a question. He liked baseball talk. He liked people who loved baseball and, and wanted to talk about baseball. And he was, you know, a very interesting guy to manage. So that's today's questions about Tony LaRusso. We'll be back with another edition of Weathering the Storms of Life with the Rangers here tomorrow on stlsportspage.com, also rainbowsforkids.org.